All right, so we made it to Quinnabal Meadows. It's still raining. We're still having fun. Everybody looks like drowned rats. And uh, we're about to climb about a thousand feet in a mile. How are you guys feeling? Wet, <laughs> a little tired. Ready to crush this hill though. <laughs> Ready to crush a beer on my forehead. Let's do it. <laughs> We are back out again. This time we're heading up the West Fork. This is, I think, my third trip on these videos that I've done on this trail. And we're gonna shoot up to Lake Mary. Maybe hike up to the top of Grass Mountain. I don't know, we got about four days out. Um, myself and Ryan from one of the previous videos and got a couple other uh, new faces joining us for this trip. And because I'm a terrible human, I've already forgotten names, so we'll introduce you guys to those guys later. But uh, yeah, excited to be out. Life has been a little stressful lately, so. But it is absolutely gorgeous out here. Absolutely gorgeous. There it is. First one for the trip. They have to draw tags here. Normally, uh, <laughs> normally they're closer. I've seen them right here in this marshy area. And we're like, ah, should I cross by on the trail or not? <laughs> oh, there she goes. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. Caught him, baby. Oh, that's your tail. Oh, that's cool. That is a big beast. Well, as you can see, the weather out here on the Veritus is gorgeous right now. Kind of a steady rain for the last hour or so. They can't all be weather winners. All right, so we made it to Quinnabal Meadows. It's still raining. We're still having fun. Everybody looks like drowned rats. And uh, we're about to climb about a thousand feet in a mile. How are you guys feeling? Wet, <laughs> a little tired. Ready to crush this hill though. <laughs> Ready to crush a beer on my forehead. Let's or do it. <laughs> Good 
climb. How you doing? Oh, couldn't be better. Oh, nicely said. Much better now. <laughs> Emergency relief valve. Oh. Did a big burrito before you came? <laughs> <laughs> sure sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> I had some protein pancakes. <laughs> That'll do it. I that did it. Protein pancake flatulence. <laughs> some uh, flapjacks. From Kodiak, Kodiak, your grandma. Once I got into, there was this protein hey, cereal at the grocery store, and so I was like, "Oh, sweet! It has that bunch of protein in it. I'm just gonna eat that for breakfast." Uh, so I started. Ryan got right it. in the shot of you coming up. What? Oh, oh I didn't even know you got the camera <laughs> there. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> you wanna go back down and do it again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm fat too. <laughs> I am too. What's funny is 90% of my B-roll before I had the sound out is just me going Ow! What do you think? Camping. I think that's a good idea. Right or left? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm gonna hike back down. <laughs> yeah, I think we should go back to Quinnabon Meadows. <laughs> Backpacking is kind of dumb. Let's go back to the Red Lodge and get hammered. Only idiots would hamp up here. Yeah. Go back and get some pizza and beer. Oh. <laughs> Well, I think there might be a pizza joint around the corner. Right, right yeah. Where's that bar and that lady in the bikini you talked about? Yeah, I think it's on the far end of the lake, so I might have to. It looked like a cat. It was just like bendy. <laughs> the case, like, if you could. It was really weird material. It was case. Um, Usually those cases. It does stink like horrible. Yeah, yeah, I don't even remember even smelling it. <laughs> I don't want to breathe that in. So and I don't know how I didn't even nauseous. see it. I don't know how we didn't see it. It was a big black. And it was dark at that point. I mean, it was night at that time. But I think we've seen it in flames. That's uh, honestly the first time I've ever heard of anybody melting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a phone. I've seen plenty of boots and it's socks a, and other shit like brings that. Brings a new meaning to my phone died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my phone became liquid. Bring it in under warranty. Why have you texted me back? My phone died. Does it warranty Why don't you charge it? No, it literally no, died. It's, it's melting. It's a manufactured defect. Bring it back under warranty. Yeah, try sending yeah. that to the insurance company. I, need, I uh, it's need like a new phone. melted blob. I did actually get um, to do a warranty. So I was, I was back when this is like in the early 2000s. So it was like a flip phone, and I had it in my pocket, and we got toned out on a structure fire, and so I just you know throw my bunker gear on. Well, I forget that my phone is in my pocket, and so <laughs> I fight a fire for four and a half hours in the middle of summer sweating my ass off uh, in 2000 degree fire and we fight the fire or anything we get done i'm like reach over and i pull out my phone and it is just completely melted. S no it's not melted it's just oh. so oh man. like i had sweated oh, so sweat. much it like oh. it melted the circuit board. The salt <laughs> probably just disintegrated. and so i brought it in i thought there's no way in hell they're gonna cover this they did he's like 
he, I, I go up to the guy that was like, so literally it died while I was fighting fire. And he goes, yeah, that's the first time I ever heard that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean. Well, good morning. You know, I'm not filming a whole lot last night. Um, got around here, got up, made some dinner. We were all cold and wet and uh, tired. And so, and then my battery died. So I just decided not to film anymore. And once I got into bed, just wasn't feeling it. So, and now it's raining again. Well, the bad weather persisted. We, uh, as I was filming there, got the start of another storm that rolled through. Soaked us pretty good. Got everything really wet. It's pretty chilly up here. Weather forecast was kind of a bust on this one. But that's what happens. Sometimes things go as a plan. Sometimes they don't. And this one definitely did not go as planned. So we decided to kind of regroup, figure out what we wanted to do. And it's not showing any signs of letting up. There's really no point in going up to the peak because we wouldn't be able to see anything through the clouds. So we're going to uh, head on back down the mountain, um, head into town, get some beer and pizza and regroup and come up with a uh, plan B. So I will let you know what we decide to do. But for right now, we're just going to go ahead and shove all of our wet stuff into the packs and see what the next part holds. Just no fun. <laughs>